Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are at the Transcatheter Cardiovascular Therapeutics Conference in San Francisco, California. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Michael Reardon, who is a professor of cardiovascular surgery at Houston Methodist in Houston, Texas. Dr. Reardon is also the National Surgical Director of the Evolute Low Risk TAVR Clinical Trial. Dr. Reardon, great to see you again. Adam, thank you for having me on. Yeah, so we're here at TCT learning lots of new things about valvular disease and treatment. I'm curious to know, what brings you to TCT today? Well, specifically, I came to talk about the late-breaking clinical trial for your results for the lowest trial. Everybody's interested in TAVR, and the reason they're interested in TAVR is it behaves differently than surgery. As a heart surgeon, I can tell you, we do great surgery. We get good results, but TAVR is far less invasive. My average patient goes home the next day. My average patient at one week is back to completely normal activity. The real question is, is will this early advantage hold up over time? And that's the data we're looking for in this trial to help educate our patients and physicians in making this difficult lifetime management decision. And so maybe could you share for the patients who may not be familiar with clinical trials, first, what did you study? So what we did is we took people that we thought were at low risk and we randomly assigned them to either having TAVR with the Evolute valve or surgery. The surgeon got to pick the valve. And then we, then we follow them year by year by year. We watch for a lot of different things. We watch for these clinical outcomes. We measure how well the valve's working. We look to see if any valves are failing. We look to see if there's any long-term unexpected complications that come up. And again, the information we have so far for this valve is that it not only maintains its early advantage, but this advantage widens over time. Yeah, and so let's talk about that, the findings. For the patients out there, what would you say are the definitive top three findings of the study? Well, I think the definitive top three things we've found out about this valve is that when we look at structural valve deterioration of the valve starting to fail, it occurs more often at a moderate or severe level in surgery than it did in TAVR with the Evolute valve. And we also showed if that happened, whether you had TAVR or surgery, it doubled your risk of dying and doubled your risk of hospitalization. We've also shown that the hemodynamics, which is the forward flow of the how well the valve is working, how close it is to normal valve, is superior to surgery. And then finally, we've shown that these really good performance metrics have now translated into really good outcome metrics. All-cause mortality or disabling stroke is widened every year for the first four years, and the curve looking at it looks like it's going to continue to widen. First off, fantastic yeah. uh, results and findings, but yeah. this doesn't stop today. No. It continues on, is that correct? That's correct. The, the study will be a 10-year study, and, and typically these studies are reported at one, two, five, and 10 years. We think in this low-risk population, Patients and doctors deserve to know more often. So we're so far reporting our results every year, and we plan to report our results every year through the lifetime of the trial. Because this is important information, not just for patients, but for the physicians who care for them, helping them make a lifetime decision in treating their aortic stenosis. Well, well, Dr. Reardon, on behalf of patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, I cannot thank you enough for all the great work that you're doing there at Houston Methodist in Houston, Texas, and on the Evolute Low Risk Taver clinical trial. Thanks so much. Well, Adam, thank you for bringing this information to our patients. It's something that I think is helpful for them in making their decision.